holy crap guys, it's been about a week since I've been in Kybers and uh, we had a major melt and then freeze in that time. And yeah, apparently things got pretty bulletproof here in the trees, but uh, there was some new snow over the last couple days, not a ton. And it's also warmed up, it's like two degrees. So I'm just uh, investigating to see how good the snow is in here. And I'm hoping that the snow quality remains as good as it is, you know? It's nice and thick down here. The snow is really wet and heavy, so it definitely slows you down a lot. But because of that, you can really like point it and go. You can really feel confident in the turns that you do make. Oh, I can feel the snow getting thicker down here, guys. Feels magical in here though right now. Holy crap guys, look around. I'm in like a crazy foggy dreamy fever dream haze fog. Huh. Oh, it's like the world is still loading around me.
It is so warm down here, guys. Holy crap. I am svitzing. Quite the temperature change between uh, between the top and here. And uh, yeah, this is the part of the trip that's now getting a little bit uh, precarious because things have melted quite a bit down here, exposing quite a bit of the shubbery. Stay tuned. All right, so we're at the bottom of Kyber's. I had to come down through here, through this little notch. And now I've got to uh, climb over this little river here. And I'm hoping that this all goes to plan and I don't fall down into that river down there. All right, hopefully this uh, pole sticks upright. I was saying uh, there's been a major melt then a freeze then a melt again so definitely out today uh, kind of on a bit of an adventure just checking out to see what the snow quality is like further down the mountain and uh, yeah I think the conclusion is that the top of Kybers is still actually really awesome and it's got that uh, wet heavy soft snow that you can really throw your turns around in it's super fun in there but yeah, as you get to the bottom, things get kind of sloppy, kind of bare bones. So it becomes a little bit more effort when you're at the bottom to, uh, yeah, to get through those trees. But the good news is, is that we've gotten to the bottom and uh, we're actually on the Cadenwood track back out uh, to the resort and they've groomed it, which is uh, super nice. You can see it's corduroy here, even though I'm moving very slowly. So uh, we're going to try to get back up there and do one more lap. Keep your fingers crossed that uh, I get to peak chair in time.
we made it for one more lap of Kybers. And uh, check out that sunset. Beautiful. Can't not be feeling it. We're headed down that way somewhere. Super stoked to be in here for lap two, guys. Let's uh, let's try to make the most of it. Oops. That is not what I meant by make the most of it. Snow is tough work, but it is fun. like sitting down and taking a break.
that is some fun snow through there. It is, uh, it's wet and it's heavy, but it's, it's also like hero snow, you know? You can really make your turns without, uh, you know, having to slow down. You can make last minute hair-brained maneuvers through trees. You can really get stylistic in there, you know? You just gotta maintain your speed because the snow is wet and heavy. As you can see, as we get lower, we kinda get that like fog down here. Somehow I picked the worst way. All right, just look at that view. You can see all the way to, to Super Mario World, level five. All right, we're just headed, uh, we're headed down that way that way. The snow is so wet and heavy down here, it's really, really treacherous. You really gotta be careful. There are hidden obstacles everywhere. Well, territory. This is uh, definitely not super safe. Huh. Be super careful through here. I'm using the trees to grab onto, you know? Huh. Just gotta get down through there. Okay, success, we made it back to the cat track.
is in great condition. Super surfy, super soft in there. Can't not be feeling it. Okay, gang. Now we are going to attempt Japan trees at the bottom of Kyber's. down to the road and uh, now it's just a quick hike up the road to get back to the bridge to get back down to Creekside where I parked. That was a great adventure today. I was totally not expecting the snow to be at the caliber that it was in peak in Kybers. It was uh, yeah definitely that wetter heavier snow but <laughs> Those conditions are super fun because you can really, really like pick your line and not be worried about accumulating too much speed. So I had a freaking great time in there. It was super fun. Even if I had to deal with a little bit of, uh, you know, obstacles at the bottom. But yeah, great day. Can't not be feeling it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> up the road back to the bridge and now it's just a, a quick journey out down this cat track back down to the base of Creekside. Mm -hmm.